The history of humanity is filled with strange subspecies of hominid and long lost missing links. It would seem that the human form has existed in many shapes and forms over the millions of years we have been walking this planet. From recent discoveries like the Denosova hominin and Homo florensius, it would seem that there are many discoveries still to be made. Could a group of human animal hybrids have been real? Did these ancient ancestors roam the ancient plains? What are the lion men? Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history, new content posted twice a week. Hit that red button to subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Lion iconography has been found across many cultures and in many countries, the mixing of man and beast being a common practice in many ancient stories. The lion imagery is often tied to the ideas of royalty, kings and leaders often carrying an image of a lion on their crest or coat of arms. In a recent online article, author of the Genesis 6 conspiracy, Gary Wayne, looked at this history and made some very interesting conclusions. He mentions the Bible passage Wisdom 14.6. This was how it was in ancient times when a proud race of giants was dying away. The hope of the world escaped on such a boat under your guidance and left the world a new generation to carry on the human race. This passage he says has some hidden meaning explaining how the Nephilim were prideful beasts filled with hubris. Hubris a Greek word originally meaning pride, excessive behavior, dangerous overconfidence and the refusal to stay within bounds. He comments on how oddly a group of lions formed into a social unit are known as a pride. The relationship between pride of lions and Nephilim may be something we should consider. The Sumerian legend of Umahalulu tells of a ruthless lion man race. These man beasts were fearless warriors who showed no mercy. Lion men warriors of ancient Babylon and Akkad possessed lion heads, men's bodies, birds feet and identified with Nergal, the god of the underworld. They are also the lion men sculptures found in Germany that unexplainably are also associated with Nergal somehow, even though these cultures are separated by time and distance. Other creatures like King Habada of Cedar Forest who is found in the epic of Gilgamesh had the face and paws of a lion bull's horns, vulture's claws, a serpent's tail and was covered in snake like scales. And yet another culture with a similar creature were the Greeks, the Chimera having a body and head of a lion, a goat's head on its back, a serpent's tail and breathed fire. And yet more examples with the Mithra or the Zoroastrian cult of Persia and India who was often depicted as a lion headed god with a snake wrapped around him. These depictions and forms of man lions or lion men can also be found in Gnosticism, Nubian beliefs in Apodamak and maybe most famously in Egypt. The Egyptians made record of lion men on reliefs in Luxor. They were said to be the offspring of the son of Ra and the powerful Egyptian god of war Ma, Ma being the Egyptian for lion. The Egyptian warrior goddess Sekhmet was depicted as a lioness god, the fiercest of warriors and a terrifying goddess. She was worshipped as the destroyer. The hieroglyph at Tepe Ol was also applied as a title for ancestral Egyptian deities. The lion hieroglyph is very reminiscent of the Sphinx. The lion and the Sphinx were both called Akka, the ancient gods that were said to have fathered the gods worshipped by the Egyptians. In the Egyptian Book of the Dead, a lion god protected the gateway to the underworld and other heavenly domains. 
In the ancient world, guardian leonine sphinxes were placed at temples, pyramids, and tombs all across Eurasia as guardians. The many cultures across the globe all seem to point to the same idea, that these lion men were the offspring of powerful gods, this origin being much like the Nephilim. The Nephilim are believed to be the ancestors of giants, a subject we took a look at in another video linked above. So if the idea of giants seems plausible to a large group of people, what about the idea of these lion men? Do you think they are or were a real creature? Or is the lion just a symbol used to project power and strength? Why is it the lion is chosen by most as the imagery or icon used to symbolize royalty on flags and coats of arms? Why are they known as the king of beasts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please throw me a like or maybe a share. If you want to see more from We Are If, you can subscribe or find us across social media. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.